What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm back with a brand new DIY video for you, and we are going to be making this DIY scratch and sniff pumpkin spice latte notebook. Now, this is easy, you probably have everything at home ready to make this, honestly, and this video was inspired by Joanna from Cute Life Hacks. She just recently uploaded a DIY scratch and sniff notebook and a DIY Nutella pencil, so make sure you go ahead and check those out. I'll leave her information down below with links to the videos. I am completely 100% inspired with this video from her so make sure you check it out like this video subscribe for more and let's get started shall we so for this DIY you're going to need some Elmer's school glue you will also need any type of soap um, just as long as it's the scent that you're going for so for this since we are doing the pumpkin spice latte I chose a soap from Bath and Body Works it's marshmallow pumpkin latte then you are also going to need a printout of any kind of sort of whatever you would like. You can also use a sticker if you already have that, but I have a printout here. And then I'm going to be putting mine on a notebook, but you can replace this with whatever you would like to put it on. And you see I'm going to be putting it on the bottom half here. So to get started with the DIY, I'm going to start with the printout. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the pumpkin spice latte out. I'm going to leave a little white border so it looks like a sticker as well. Then you should get something that looks exactly like this. Doesn't it look like a sticker? That's pretty cool, huh? So now what we're going to do is just put this off to the side and start working with our notebook. So I'm going to take some Elmer School Glue and I'm going to put a line just, you know, the size of the height. And then I'm also going to go ahead and take a paintbrush and kind of just smear it out a little bit to the width as well. We don't need a lot of this and you don't want to put a lot of it either because it will actually mess up the paper. It will like crinkle it up and wrinkle it and that's not cute. Then you can go ahead and position your pumpkin spice latte onto your notebook or whatever you're using. Just make sure that you put it down in the correct area because it is glue so it's going to dry. And then you're going to want to go ahead and let that dry. Now in a bowl we're going to go ahead and mix equal parts of this Elmer school glue and our soap. Now as you see here, I didn't even put a lot of it there because we don't need a lot of it. Now this is actually too much. I didn't even use all of it. So just to let you know of kind of how much you need. Now the method to make sure that you don't get any wrinkles in the paper is to just go ahead and start by painting the glue mixture onto the sides of it. So just paint it on the white border first. You're going to want to do this to make sure that the colors don't bleed into each other. If you're doing a sticker, then you can just go ahead and avoid this whole step and just cover the whole sticker. But since I'm using actual paper, I'm going to start by sections. So I let that dry and now I'm going to go ahead and do the white part of the cup. And I just kept doing this for each of the sections until everything was covered. Then I just went ahead and I let that dry and that is pretty much all there is to making your own scratch and sniff anything. You can put this on anything. Now of course I'm pretty sure we all know how to work a scratch and sniff. All you have to do is literally scratch it. However this one is a little bit more fragile so I would suggest just rubbing it and there you have it. So that was pretty much it for this DIY. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and make sure you check out Joanna's links, and they will be posted down below. I love you all so much, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!